In this video, I would like to show how to set up scan to email for your Toshiba eStudio 45 series machines. In order to set this up, you will need an email account. I am going to provide the settings for Gmail. If you'd like to use a different email program, uh, you can transpose and find the settings for that. The settings that you will need will be your email account, the password, the DNS settings, for Gmail it's 8.8.8.8 and the secondary is 8.8.4.4 and the SMTP server address. Again, for Gmail it's smtp.gmail.com. Now the first step you want to do after creating the account, and I do recommend creating an account just for the copier, um, is to go into the sign-in settings. So you click up here for Gmail and go to my account click on sign in and security and it'll be down towards the bottom where it says allow less secure apps make sure it's turned on there will be similar settings on other email accounts um, such as hotmail um, etc so as I said make sure this is turned on and then you can exit out of your account and with these settings we can proceed. What you'll do is start by opening up a web browser. I have found internet, uh, the new Edge, does not work as well. I prefer using Chrome. You'll place the IP address of the copier into the address bar. And you can see mine is pre-filled in. Um, you'll have to type yours in if you have not gone to the page before. Putting that in brings us to what is called a web interface page. It looks like a web page, but it's actually all the settings in your copier. You'll go into the admin mode, press login. By default, the username is admin. The password is 123456. Click login. And the administration tab will fill up. Click on administration. And the first spot to go to is email. In here, we will want to put the email account that you're going to use for scanned email. The second line, put the name of your company. Then you'll jump down to number of retries. Change that to a zero. If it's going to fail on the first attempt, it will fail on all of the rest. And then I like to put in the default body strings. Any message you'd like, you can put in. I like to put, please do not reply to this email. And then you do not have to worry about monitoring the email for replies. Um, once that is complete, click on Save. It'll ask if you are sure. Press OK. Then we go to Network. There are three areas in this area to check. First one is TCP IP. We want to make that static. So if it's dynamic, you'll click on the gray box. Click on this, change it to static, and click OK. It will ask if you are sure, press OK. Then you can click on this little link to jump to the top of the page, and we'll go to DNS session. And the same thing here, if it's not where you want it to be, click on the gray box. Again, for Gmail, it's 8888 and 8844. If you're using a different service, it may be different. Again, click OK and OK. Click on go to the top of this page. And the last area we need to go into is SMTP client. And then we'll click on the SMTP client gray box. And basically from the top, I'll go down, enable SMTP client enable, enable SSL for Gmail. This will be accept all certificates without CA. Gmail does use SSL, so we will select from here, start TTLS. SMTP server, again, depending if you're using a different email provider, you'll want to use their SMTP. In this case, smtp.gmail.com. Most cases, pop before SMTP will disable. Authentication is login. Login name is your email account. The password is your email account password. And the port number is 587. Once you're done with that, you'll click OK. 
OK again. And at this point, we can save our work. Click on Save. And then OK. It's warning you that it will go offline. It, as you can see, when this configuration is changed, the network connection will be disconnected. Would you like to continue? Press OK. And in this case, I've made no changes, so it did not go offline. Yours will go offline. Um, and after a few moments, click on the refresh button. Now, once you have scanned email set up, you can put your address book in. If you click on registration, and then the second tab here is address book. And you can see our address book that we have here. If you want to add an address, click on add address. You put the person's name in, their email address. If you have a fax machine and will be faxing to them, you can put their fax in there and click save. Uh, it's asking for a valid name because I did not put someone in. We'll go ahead just for testing. Test. And the email address test at. So I'll put another one in, click save. And as you can see, it's in there. If I wanted to edit or delete, just click on the name, and up here we can do a number of things. I will delete. Okay, and this should complete your scan to email setup. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us. Have a great day.